In this video, I'll be sure showing my current setup into my dream gaming setup because it's quite obvious that my setup is a very good upgrade because look how low my mouse is. I can barely even play comfortably. Like, although I do have a nice camera to record my videos, look at this lighting. It lights up nothing. And I'm only playing on a box right now, so I want to play on something better. The first thing I need to do is take this whole setup down because I need to make space to build a new one. Since it's pretty worn to watch me take stuff down, here's a time lapse of me doing it. So now that I have the old setup taken down, I can start figuring out what kind of desk I want to get for my dream gaming setup. So the following photos I'm about to show you are desks I might consider buying for my dream gaming setup. So this is the desk I saw on Amazon for $99. I like this one because I like the shelves on the side and like the color of it. And it's real nice looking. The second desk I saw was on Ikea for $184.99. I considered getting this desk because it has the drawer on the side and it has very good storage. And I also like the way that the drawers look. So if you can't tell yet, I'm going for a white theme setup. And that's why I picked out these three desks. And I also picked this desk because I like the L shape of it. And I like how it already comes with RGB lighting. It's really convenient and it's really easy to put together. So now I know what desk I'm going to buy, I want you guys to either guess desk A, desk B, or desk C on which desk you think I got. If you thought I got desk A, you were wrong. If you thought I got desk C, you were wrong. I actually decided to buy desk B. Like I said earlier, I got the IKEA desk because I really like the storage and the style of it. So now that I know completely that I'm buying the Ikea desk, I can go ahead and go to Ikea and start buying stuff from there. And also add some clips in from what I bought and a sneak peek of what all the stuff. I'll also show you a sneak peek of what I bought and a few other clips I got while we were at Ikea. Yes, uh, I this stuff, this stuff is bought. Extra clips. So now that I've bought the desk, I can go and start buying stuff off of Amazon to finish up the rest of the setup. So the first thing that I bought off Amazon was a 60% keyboard. I decided to get a 60% keyboard because I like how small and minimal they are. The second thing I bought was a coiled cable for my 60% keyboard, just for it to have a little bit more style. The third thing I bought was a Glorious Model O. I got this mouse because I like how lightweight it is, and it's easy to move all across my desk. The fourth thing I bought was a gaming mouse pad. I got this mouse pad because I'm going for a magenta and light blue theme. And also got it so I wouldn't scratch my desk up. The fifth thing that I bought were these Govee strips. I got these to give my setup some more aesthetic. And I also got them because I got their app control. You can control it right there from your phone. The last thing that I got were these 3D art panels to go on my wall. I think they would look really nice on my wall and fit the aesthetic of my setup too. The total cost of everything was $178.53. So now that I bought all stuff off Amazon, all I can do is wait for them to ship it to me. So see you then. Three days later. Look, look, look what we've got from Amazon. No way, it finally came in. It's probably boring to watch me open a box, so here's a time lapse of me opening everything. Now that all the packages have arrived, all we have to do now is wait on the 3D art panels to get here. But in the meantime, we can go ahead and start building the setup while we wait for it to arrive. Here's a very quick montage of me building the Alex drawer. And here's a montage of me finishing the entire desk. So now that I have the whole desk built, I can do the most annoying part of this video. I have to manage all of the cables under the desk. I think I'm going to start by putting a few surgery protectors under my desk. I think that's enough surgery protectors for now. Now that I have the cable managed, here's a time lapse of me fixing up the top of the desk. So now that I have the keyboard all set up on my desk, I can go and get the RGB strip lights out. 
Before I get the RGB strip light set up, I want to give you a quick keyboard sound test. Since it's quite boring to watch me put RGB strip lights on the back of my desk, I'll see you when I get done with that. So now that I have the RGB strip lights on the back of my desk, I'm going to start messing around with a few Govi scenes. I decided to make a scene that went between Cyan and Magenta to fit the colors of my setup, and I also put my Xbox up too. Now that I have the strip lights all set up, I can go and start decorating my pegboard. I'll have a time lapse of that. If you're wondering when did I even put the pegboard up, the time lapse of me putting my pegboard up got deleted somehow. I don't even know how it did. So this is the finished project of the pegboard. I feel like I did a really good job on this. So the only thing I can really do now is wait for the 3D art panels to arrive so I can go ahead and put them up on the wall. And then however long that takes to get here. So I'll see you when I get them. Eventually. I think my 3D art panels have now arrived. So now that the 3D art panels have arrived, there's nothing else I can really do but put them up on the wall. So here's a time lapse of me putting them up. So now that the 3D art panels are on the wall, they look really good by the way. I can go in and put the shelf up. I still have to get my second shelf, but I can go in and put the first shelf up on the side of my setup. And here's your time lapse of me doing that. So now that I have my shelf put up, I'll see you when I get done with my pegboard because I don't think you want to see me put it up again. So I'll see you when I'm done. So now that I have the pegboard put back up, I think it looks way better than it did before. I can go in and start putting this stuff on my shelf again. I think I'm going to make it look way better, so I'll see you when I'm done. So now that I have my shelf redid, all I'm going to do is take the controllers down. But I can go ahead and get a new chair because right now I'm literally sitting on a stool. And it's not very comfortable, so I want to get like a white and light gray gaming chair to fit my gaming setup. So I kind of want to get a chair similar to this one because I like the ergonomic look to it. And I like the, like the light gray and the white. It would fit my setup really good. So I'm going to go out looking for one. So I decided to go to Home Goods, And surprisingly, they had like a lot of stuff in there. I didn't even know they had that much stuff in there. They had like a lot of furniture. So I was hoping to find a chair. And I did see like a few chairs. But I have to keep on looking around for some more. So after about 10 minutes of looking, I found a chair that I really like. It looks just like the one I showed earlier. So I think I'm going to get this one. This chair is like perfect. I was so glad I was able to find this chair. So now that I have the chair bought, I can go in and get the second Ikea shelf for above my setup. And I also need to get two more things off Amazon, which consists of a controller hooks to hang up my controllers. And I also got some cable management sleeves to make my setup look better under here. While we wait, I can go ahead and put my pegboard more in the middle because you guys can't really tell from my perspective. It is very uneven because if you look closer, it's like really uneven right there and there. My so my pegboard I'm is back even. I can go ahead and wait for my Amazon package to arrive. Our second Amazon package has arrived. Let's go. These control holders are going to make the area above my pegboard look so much better. So I'll see you when I get done with this. So now that I have my controllers up on the wall, I can go ahead and use my cable sleeve to manage all of these cables. So there's only one cable under here. So now that I have all the cables managed under my desk, only if I had another IKEA lack shelf to go above my setup. So now that another lack shelf suddenly appeared, they come together to make an L shape, which is the way I wanted it. So now that I have the two shelves up, I can add my second RGB strip up to the top. So now that I have the RGB strip lights on the top of my shelf, I know there's like a lot of hot spots, but I had to turn them up to max brightness so you guys can see it on the video. So what you're supposed to see, you're supposed to see the up glow. You're not even supposed to see up there because I'm going to have like stuff on the shelf showcasing all my stuff. So now that I have all my stuff up on my shelf, I don't know if it's just me, but these two walls look really empty. So I need to add something up there so they don't look as empty. Before I put some things on my wall, I have to go in and get these monitor bar lights. And I need to put these on the back of my monitor because, as you can see, it's very dark up there. And I don't like how dark that is. So I'll see you when I get done with that. So now that the monitor bar lights are on the back of my monitor, I can go in and get the area above my shelves situated. So on this big side, I'm going to put a LED sign and this dream neon sign above there. So I'll see you when I'm done with that.
So now that I have the neon sign and the LED sign up on the wall, I can go ahead and get the other side of this wall situated, which I'm going to put these hexagon panels up. So I'm gonna put them right there in the middle. So I'll see you when I get done with this. So now my hexagon panels are up on my wall. I, personally, I think they look really good. And I also like them because how many scenes they have. I like this one when it goes through all the RGBIC features. And since this is all up on my wall, this basically concludes my setup, except all I have to do now is just clean everything up because as you can see, it is very messy right now. So I have to go ahead and clean this up. Now that I have the top of my desk all cleared out and underneath all cleaned out, I can go ahead and put my Xbox back up and I can also put my final piece to my setup that'll make it all work. So now that I have my keyboard, mouse, and Xbox set up, I added a little bit of lighting too. And I also like the wallpaper decided to use. But wait, how can you make a wallpaper with an Xbox? Well, maybe because I decided to buy myself a new laptop to run games in 1440p and edit my videos with ease. Because before, I was just editing my videos with my phone. This will conclude my setup transformation. If you want to buy any of these products in my setup, I will link them all in the description. And by the time you're watching this, the setup tour will already be out. So go ahead and go watch that after this. So.